follow the subject of called God is calling you today. So John 6 verses 37 to 44. All that the Father giveth me, as the Lord Jesus Christ speaking, shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will in no wise or no way cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but I should raise it up again, at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph? whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all, they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. As I said, God is calling you today, I believe, in repentance and faith. You see, we have a problem called sin. And these sins have separated between God and our souls, so that he will not hear. But God is willing to bring you back to himself. God is willing that you might be saved. Have your sins forgiven through faith in His Son. Now God is calling you today to come in repentance. That is, change your mind. Acknowledge that you are a sinner before God. And He's also calling you to faith. Repentance and faith. Repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. For there is no other way of salvation. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Obviously we've got to understand and recognize and acknowledge that we are sinners in the sight, the holy and just God. And then we can come, when we've realized that, when we've repented, acknowledged our sinfulness before the Lord, then we can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and the word of God says, Thou shalt be saved. That's what God wants. Although we're sinners, we've been separated from God because of those sins. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And yet there is forgiveness with God that he may be feared. I wonder, do you have that forgiveness that can only come through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again and buried by according to the scriptures. He desires that you might be in with him in heaven. There's two places in eternity, either heaven or the lake of fire. Now God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Agree with God that you're a sinner. Acknowledge that you're a sinful person. We're all sinners in the sight of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who shed his precious blood. That your sins and mine might be washed away. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. 